morning in the bowl of night has flung the stone that set the stars to flight. It's early but uh, lots to do today so going to get cracking. Well there's no time like the present. There's little jobs you can get done. Uh, five minute bits of the job that will make the day go a lot easier. Uh, so there's there's what I did last night. Did that, or what was that, nine o'clock last night. Bits cramped up, ready for me to play with today. Uh, but I thought I'd just have a little look at some of the other bits and pieces. These, these are the drawers that came out uh, of this dressing table. Now, one of the things that my father used to find himself doing from time to time, he would be asked by various people to look at old furniture and tell them what it was. They'd, they'd have a piece of ancient furniture and they would want a value for it and they'd think it was Sheraton or Chippendale or, or whatever. And Dad would take a look and sometimes he'd take me along with him uh, to see if we could work out what it was. Now this furniture is allegedly Victorian. And I, at the moment I say allegedly but in fact it is Victorian uh, and dating it was made ever so easy because the man in the factory had written a date on it so we know how old this is but there's odd little clues for a start this is thin horribly thin thin wood it is not plywood you would not find plywood on a piece of furniture made in England in 1897 uh, the draw fronts this is the trouble with trying to do things at while well, it's still dark outside the draw fronts are cheap nasty pine which has been veneered so it's got a mahogany veneer uh, laid onto a cheap piece of pine uh, it's got small dovetails and looking at those I can see the marks where these are hand made these, these are made by a man there's a a score where he's run a marking gauge across it. There's a little nick on that one where he put his saw a little bit too far into the wood. So this this would have been made in a joinery shop by a man working at a workbench, possibly a boy, because a lot of the carcass work would have been done by apprentices or, or low paid workers. So there it is. Uh, the draw handle is, to my way of thinking, is right. Uh, cheap, nasty brass pressing with a little brassy bronze cast handle on it. There are no extra screw holes. That looks very much like that was the one that it came out of the the factory with. It doesn't mean it is, I'm just saying it looks very much like it is. You also expect to see on old furniture, you expect to see things like that, damage, stains. Uh, presumably somebody had a fountain pen which at some time or another leaked and has leaked ink into the bottom of the drawer just things that help with ageing uh, and, and verifying that a piece of furniture is what the owner says it is. Now this particular piece was never valuable, it's just old 
it's uh, old and interesting not not valuable not particularly high quality uh, and uh, yeah if you are thinking of buying Victorian furniture you might like to know that this was bought at auction with another uh, piece for um, I don't know can we say commercial prices yeah it, it was 45 pounds English pounds so what's that I know sixty dollars something like that a pair of Victorian dressing tables both in need of repair but not very much money uh, now with things of this age you find that a lot of pieces were made in different factories this is just a piece of prettiness that was on top of the mirror frame and that was probably bought in from another uh, another workshop there would have been lots of small workshops making various things uh, and this yeah very thin piece of material just a piece of prettiness interestingly got a screw fitted into it so that screws down onto the mirror top and then is pinned in place and again it, it over the years it had split and suffered so that's got to go back on top of the mirror frame yeah there we are things to keep keep me busy today <laughs>